Hi, Lit here. This is Lit called Question 1021, Remove Outermost Palaces. This is easy, difficult question. Let's get into it. Alright, a valid palace string is either empty, uh, open palaces, no space, null string, and close palaces, or uh, open palaces plus A plus close palaces, or a plus B, where A and B are valid parenthesis string and plus left hand string concatenation. For example, null space and open and close parenthesis and open open close close open close parenthesis and open open close open open close 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 parenthesis are all valid parenthesis strings. A valid parenthesis string S is primitive if it is not empty. And there does not exist a way to split it into S equal A plus B with A and B non empty valid parenthesis string. Given a valid parenthesis string S, consider its primitive decomposition. S equal S on the bar 1 plus S, uh, sorry, S equal P on the bar 1 plus P on the bar 2 plus da 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 plus P on the bar K, where P on the bar I is R primitive valid parenthesis strings. Return S after removing the outermost parenthesis of every primitive string in the primitive decomposition of S. Alright. Okay, let's assume this is onion and then we need to strip outermost one. So in this case, there are a one and two a onion and then let's strip one, two, three, four. So left one, two, three, three. Okay, let's check example two. Alright, there are one, two, three onions, and then let's strip this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So it left this one. And then final, uh, we have two onions, but this is too small, so. <coughs> Chill is only one. So. I'll strip this one, this one, this one still, so nothing left. It makes sense? Okay, I think there are a lot of approach to solve this question, uh, but I, I do like to use a uh, simple one I, because I believe the simple is best. So, uh, uh, I traced only one time and I will uh, iterating only what we need. Okay, let's see the uh, first element of string. Uh, always open. Start with open parentheses because it must be a combination uh, between valid parentheses. So, if the string needed to be valid, it needed to uh, open with open parentheses. It makes sense. So I will start here, index one, and then I will gather this character, this one, this one, this one, and then I needed to stop here, right? I needed to skip here, and then jumping to where here now, jumping to here, because one two will be deleted. It makes sense. So I will move here, here, and then when I meet here, and then skip, and skip, skip, and then again, 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 again. Okay, now we need to find out how we able to check this, this point. Yeah, that's right. We can use the counter name open counter. So when you meet the open parenthesis, counter will be increased one. 
and then when we meet the close parenthesis, open counter will be decreased one by one. And then when open counter is zero, and then I will skip two. And then this one zero, I will skip two. Then finally, the cursor iteration, only one we looking for. Did you make sense? Okay. Uh, let's implement code. All right. So I think we need three uh, variable. First is alpha to return string. Second is open counter. Is start with zero? No, it start with one because first element index zero will be skipped. So index I also start one. It makes sense. And I will start, start iteration I is smaller than length S. Let me change capital to smaller one. <coughs> and then if SI is open parenthesis, then I will increase open counter. And then as I will close open counter minus one. And then if uh, we meet here, we need to skip to right. That is open counter. Is zero. And then, okay, this time I will change open counter to one because we will skip this two one and then even this one skipped uh, this one is open counter one and we start here so at this point we needed open counter must be one and then I will skip two index and then as how can we do? S is the NASCII point, so at that time we needed to visit step by step, pointing step by step, and then get character, put character into our foot. And I plus one, and then finally return our foot. All right, submit. Okay, let's check complexity. Okay, how many iteration here? This is one while iteration. Uh, so, and how about space complexity? Is there any extra uh, data structure? No. So we can say it take linear time with constant space. Thank you.